Can I get a tail wag, sweetie? I remember seeing maple for the first time vividly. I felt this real soft, warm, childlike energy from her. It's okay, sweetie. You're okay, bud. You're okay, bud. The first things I noticed was that she was very acquiescent to human affection. Like she wanted people close to her. They had just cleaned her up and wrapped this kind of pink mummy wrap. Within a few seconds, I knew she was a dog that we could save. So, um, what we need to do is figure out a plan. We knew we had to get her out of there just immediately and get her to the hospital and go to work. The only thing that I was calculating was how can I lift her up without hurting her? As soon as I picked her up, she didn't moan. She didn't try to wiggle out. She was trusting right off the bat. And not only was she trusting, she pretty quickly, as soon as we got out of the kennel, she just loosened like dough in my arms. We took her straight to the veterinary hospital. We spent the night. She didn't behave like a critically injured dog. She just behaved like a dog. And when she got home and when she got up to the ranch, I got text messages from Randy. I remember it like it just happened. I froze and was completely just locked in. I sat and I watched as they carried her out of the shelter. And I could see that a desire to survive and said, I need to foster this dog. You're such a pretty girl. Yes, or is. Her and I loaded up every other day to see the staff and change her wraps. She trusted me completely and totally. The biggest transition I saw was the vet techs cut out little hearts and put the little hearts on top of her bandaging. The difference when she came out that day and it went from, oh, poor baby, to, oh my gosh, look at you. And she walked out so proud and her head was tall instead of down low that day and her tail was up. That's when she started to blossom. So my initial reaction to her bandage setup and her butterfly costume was uh, like, whose idea was this? This is pretty brilliant. Randy and the whole team made it so wonderful for her. And I think she would have this extra spring in her step when she was wrapped up. When I could stop needing to carry her, she looked sometimes like she was gonna take off in her little butterfly wings. that combination of finally starting to feel better. And you know, she had proper care and proper medication. She healed so quickly. It wasn't a month and she no longer needed the full bandage. And in two months, she was bandage free. What, what is it that you're doing? Tissue paper? Being kind of enveloped in this love, it was like she knew she was okay. The third month, she was in her forever home. It's a true bittersweetness to let them go. It was just right. And she jumped in her truck and it was time to go. The two dogs hit it off and we all just seemed to know that the day had come. I'm glad we're celebrating her victory because it really does serve as fuel to keep us going her with her brother and all of the amazing places that Justine takes the two of them. You know, it takes that bitter sweetness away and makes it just pure sweetness because that girl is living her best life.